So we had a stretch this year where we got more callbacks than normal. We were missing some things or we weren't rinsing properly and we had to fix a few mistakes with regards to gutters and exposed wood. So we came to the realization early spring that we needed to slow down a little bit and focus on doing the little things right. My buddy Aaron calls this blocking and tackling. We needed to get back to the fundamentals of washing and in order to do that, we just had to slow down a little bit. Quote IQ has teamed up with the window cleaning resource to give away a window cleaning business starter kit. All you have to do is download Quote IQ on the Apple or the Google Play Store, and you have to become a premium or platinum subscriber to be entered to win. Be sure to check out the WCR for all your window cleaning needs. We are going to be announcing the winner on August 1st. We all want to work fast and make as much money as possible, but the callbacks were causing us to go back out to the properties, which resulted in us losing time and money. And then it also resulted in a bad customer experience. So we adjusted the way that we do things, and I don't think that we've had a callback since. My bonus mistake for you guys that resulted in us almost having to pay the customer after the job was the time that Kale was washing a house and he moved the patio furniture from the patio to the front yard in a really small neighborhood where the front yard was pretty much non-existent and it was very close to the street. And as Kale was washing the house, he was going around back. The garbage people actually came by and they threw away the customer's expensive patio furniture that actually ended up costing more than what we were charging for the house wash in the first place. And this resulted in us doing the job for free. The worst part is they said that the patio furniture was a gift from a friend as if we didn't feel bad enough already. So I'm pretty sure that we won't be getting called back um, by those people. 